black Michael Kors purse that I've had for years literally broke. I remember Hey you guys, so I wanted to film a different kind of video today. Today I want to film what's in my purse kind of video. I always see the girls and the girlies doing these kind of videos and I think they're so fun because I love seeing what's in people's purses because it kind of gives me inspo or ideas of what to put in my purse. And I thought this was going to be a great idea because I'm out and I, I am a busy entrepreneur. So I would love to see like what are in people's purses as an entrepreneur. Um, let me know down below if you guys like this type of video and like this type of content. Um, you guys know that as much as I love the business kind of content, I try to switch it up now and then because you guys know that I'm not going to post any like content that I don't absolutely love. So I just want to make sure that my content kind of like is authentic and you guys know that I'm still having fun but i'm kind of putting content that you guys want to see so let me know down below if you guys are liking this different kind of content so that way i can know if you guys are liking it or not but i'm going to show you guys what's in my purse as an entrepreneur busy girl every single day with something to do and some of the essentials that i carry in my purse every single day that i literally cannot leave the house without so let me guys let me show you know, the lingo problems let me show you what's in my purse and i'll show you guys once i get home i also kind of just wanted to update you guys because i'm kind of salty like my boyfriend i literally just found my beads headphones so one of my essentials that i keep in my purse is always like a pair of headphones and i have my beads inside my purse but i'm so salty you guys because i was in the bathroom and one of the headphones like literally fell on the side of the bathroom so now i have one beads headphone again I also wanted to give like a mini life update because I haven't really updated you guys on YouTube but for those of you who don't follow me on my TikTok I suggest that you go follow me on my TikTok because I keep you guys a little bit more updated on there but for those of you who don't know me because I had to take a step back from my business for like a good two months I did end up start working at a part-time job which is Chipotle um, I worked there for years before and you guys know that and I actually just started working there again for just two days a week so that way I can make some extra income on the side while I kind of take a step back from my business and get some things in order. I wanted to include this because at first I wasn't going to say anything. You know, I didn't want any people to think that I was kind of just preaching and not following my own advice of being an entrepreneur. But when I thought about it, I said, you know what, I'm going to show the girls, I'm going to show everybody just the real authentic behind the scenes because sometimes life isn't perfect and sometimes you have to sacrifice your time and sometimes you have to make some sacrifices and get a part-time job so that way you can restructure some things in your business and that is totally okay. I think I was a little bit harder on myself because I was like, oh my God, like what are people going to think? Like, um, I was almost questioning myself and thinking if I was a real entrepreneur by getting a part-time job. Up, but you know when I thought about it I was like you know what that has nothing to do with my value that has nothing to do with my experience I know why and the reason that I'm getting a part-time job and as long as it makes sense to you that's all that matters so I just really really wanted to make sure I included that within this video because you guys know that I'm super transparent authentic I'm never going to show up on here and just lie to you guys so that is actually where I'm coming from. I'm actually coming home from work because I picked up a shift. So like I said, when I get home, I'm going to show you guys what's inside my purse because I actually just changed out my purses. I always used to wear like my black Michael Kors one and I'm so sad, you guys. My black Michael Kors purse that I've had for years literally broke. I remember that was like my first high-end purse that I could afford after I started making a little bit of money. Oh, well, actually I lied. It's, it was my second one because my first Michael Kors, I gave it to my mom. So it was like my second like big girl purchase by getting a Michael Kors purse. So I'm so sad that it broke, but I'll show you guys my new purse that I actually ended up buying at TJ Maxx when I went back to Cincinnati in March to visit my family. So I'll show you guys what's inside my purse and let me stop rambling on and show you guys when I get home. So I just got home and changed into a shirt, a comfy shirt. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what is inside my purse. So like I said before, this works for anybody that is an entrepreneur, that is a college student, that is a busy mom. These are just some of the key essential items that I keep in my purse. And like I said, I actually just switched it out. So I thought, you know, that would be a really good video to show you guys because I actually love seeing videos like this. Um, so like I said before, I actually got this purse from TJ Maxx. I believe it was like 20 dollars but i love these little like purses because they're like little i know it's kind of stuffed up a little you can tell 
but um you don't have to put a lot in them and then that way you can actually like carry them like a shoulder carry-on and then you can also carry them like a sh like a small bag if that makes sense so that's why i really like these bags um it has like the gold accents so let me show you guys what's inside my purse so one of the things that i absolutely keep in here is my wallet um i don't have like a big wallet i actually have like this small wallet again it's from tj maxx it's steve madden back i always keep my perfume which is my chanel perfume um this is actually one of my favorites just because the first time i got this was a gift from my dad and then ever since then i became like literally obsessed so now this is like one of the only perfumes that i wear so i have to always keep one on me whether it's in my car or in my purse but i always keep one in my purse and it is a little bit big to keep in your purse so i had the mini one but it works i always keep a pair of headphones um i'm so salty because i literally just my boyfriend had, had actually just found the left one and i dropped it in the bathroom so now it's like literally stuck on the side of the sink but i always keep an extra pair of headphones in my purse of course a charger i actually don't have one in here but I always keep a charger there's just a block um and then of course the cable because my phone always be dying um and then i always keep mints or i always keep uh breath strips so i actually have breath strips because i haven't finished them um but i usually either keep gum or some kind of mints in there um because i don't like to have stinky breath and then of course i have my apple watch that's just because i'm not wearing it on but whenever i'm not wearing it on it's always in my in my purse just because i cannot leave the house without a watch and then that is pretty oh i forgot one more thing um i always try to keep a mascara and lip gloss inside my purse because you guys know that i have a habit of always leaving the house with my mascara I don't know why it's just the, always the last thing i do and sometimes i forget to put on mascara so i always keep a mascara and lip gloss inside my purse so like i said these are just some key essential things that i keep inside my purse and everything fits in there so i hope you guys like that video again if you liked it please leave me a like a comment and a share down below um like i said i thought i would share some of these essentials because i love seeing what's in the girlies purse and sometimes you can always like learn from somebody or just add something else that you didn't have already so that is everything i keep in here i'm going to show you guys how i exactly organize it because i'm like an organized freak so that's pretty much how i organize it besides the perfume falling out um but that's pretty much how i organize it like i said if you guys like this video please leave a like a comment and share this video down below with someone that might benefit from this video but if you guys like this different type of content please leave me a, leave me a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye you guys